Millions of square miles of soil are melting right beneath our feet. Permafrost is thawing and it could be enough to destroy some of our cities. Meanwhile, in places like Norway, stunning inlets called fjords have been formed through millions of years of ice movement. Our planet is full of terrifying, beautiful, and mysterious forces, and it's our job to uncover them. I'm Mike with List 25, and come with me to explore 25 hidden secrets of the Earth. 25. Subterranean Galapagos When it comes to life on Earth, humans are barely scratching the surface. Deep underneath the ground, and I'm talking more than three and a half miles down, there is a subterranean oasis. Researchers from the Deep Carbon Observatory have spent an entire decade collecting samples from this deep biosphere. Dubbed the Subterranean Galapagos, this area is double the size of every ocean and is home to the majority of our planet's bacteria. Down there, microbial life has evolved to withstand enormous pressure and extreme temperatures, which opens up the possibility of life existing almost anywhere. 24. The Core of the Core of the Earth The inner core is the beating heart of Earth's body. It makes up about one-fifth of Earth's volume and is 30% smaller than the Moon. But with an average temperature of over 9,000 degrees, it's also an engine of activity. It helps to create the magnetic field of the planet, giving Earth an invisible layer of protection from the radiation shooting towards us through space. 23. Never-before-seen magnetic waves Speaking of magnetic waves, a new kind has been detected by satellites over more than two decades and combined with computer simulations. This wave only appears every seven years and has been called the Magneto-Coriolis wave. As we know, magnetic waves help provide a shield for the planet, and they are generated through the conductivity of liquid metal contained in the outer layer of the Earth's core. As it swirls and swishes around, electric currents are created, and with it, magnetism. The new waves that have been discovered interact with this liquid in the outer core, but it's too early to know exactly how. 22. Giant River Under Antarctica Picture Antarctica and what comes to mind. Plenty of snow, maybe some mountains, uh, huge sheets of ice, right? Well, underneath, there are also flowing rivers. And not just one or two, an entire system of them. The rivers eventually found their way to the Weddell Sea in the Southern Ocean. One of these networks is about the same size as Egypt and is located underneath a group of four floating ice sheets. If this ice were to melt all at once, then the world's oceans would rise more than four meters. Knowing exactly where Antarctica's below ice rivers are is crucial for scientists to predict how much and how fast ice is melting. 21. Goliath Ocean of Water it's not only Antarctica where huge bodies of water are showing up. About 700 kilometers underground, in the mantle layer, there is a reservoir. This isn't just a small amount of liquid either. If the Earth's oceans were drained, there'd be enough water in here to fill all of them three times over. Importantly, this has changed a fundamental theory about how water first ended up on our planet. A popular idea has been that comets colliding with Earth at some point brought some water with them but the huge reservoir points to water slowly trickling from underneath up to the surface. 20. Baker Lake, Nunavut Not all of Earth's mysteries are hidden underground. Some of them are on the surface, and some of them you can even access through public data. Baker Lake in Nunavut, Canada is a place that has attracted attention for potentially a cover-up. When you find the small town of just over 2,000 on Google Maps, the satellite image has what appears to be a blacked-out rectangle in one spot. For some conspiracy-minded folks, it's evidence of extraterrestrial beacons. 19. Planetary Stewardship Earth may have survived for 4.5 billion years, but man-made climate change is shaking things up dramatically. That's what the idea of planetary stewardship is all about responsibly managing the Earth and life on it, while finding a balance between taking resources and maintaining the health of nature. The best approach is to reproduce the ways that the planet deals with waste and pollution, like through recycling, green energy, and creating more carbon sinks. 18. Biogeochemical Cycles Just like the cycle of food going into your body and being converted into energy, the Earth has a cycle too. 
only it's infinitely more intricate and complex. It's called the biogeochemical cycle. Zooming from the outside in, the environment, species, animals, chemicals, and microbes are all constantly moving through cycles. For part of that cycle, they'll be inside living creatures, like horses, whales, and even humans. But that's only for a relatively short amount of time before the chemicals return to the environment, either in the atmosphere, the soil, the ocean, or anything in between. 17. Ocean Acidification we hear a lot about greenhouse gas emissions in the atmosphere, but what about the oceans? They're affected just as much. In fact, almost one third of all those emissions end up in the ocean, making the water much more acidic. This has a chain reaction, making it more difficult for animals like oysters to build shells, eroding coral reefs, and destroying the habitats of marine life. 16. Seafloor Spreading Forget man-spreading, the Earth is making space for itself, too. As heat makes its way towards the surface from the mantle layer, it builds up near the mid-ocean ridges, where tectonic plates meet. This cracks the crust. Just imagine the top of a pie splitting open and cheese bubbling up to the surface. Then, as it's quickly cooled by seawater, a new layer of crust is created, spreading out the floor of the sea. 15. Mid-Ocean Ridges where can you find the longest mountain range in the world? If you're thinking of the Andes, Rocky Mountains, or the Himalayas, I'm sorry, but one, you're wrong, and two, you just completely ignore the titles of these items. <sighs> Don't feel bad, though. Usually you'd be right. The Andes stretch about 4,300 miles long and are often listed as the longest mountain range. However, the Mid-Ocean Ridge is almost 10 times that length, measuring just over 40,000 miles. It runs through the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean Pacific, and zigzags its way across the planet. The reason we don't think of it is that nearly all of it is underwater, but it's responsible for almost all of the volcanic activity on the surface. 14. Geomagnetic Anomalies The magnetic field is not equal all around the world. Instead, it, it bends and strengthens, making it stronger or weaker depending on where you are. For example, the Bangui anomaly in the Central African Republic has more intense magnetic activity than almost anywhere else on the planet. These are generated by magnetic minerals found deep in Earth's crust. We are able to pick up on these forces through magnetometers, finely tuned devices that analyze minute protons to detect differences in the magnetic field. 13. Subduction Zones When giants collide, they make a big impact. And there are a few bigger forces than tectonic plates. Some are bigger than others, though. Oceanic plates weigh more than continental ones, and as they crash into each other, the heavier plate slides downward and creates something called a subduction zone. This connects the mantle layer to the continental crust, creating huge volcanoes, ultra-deep trenches, and devastating earthquakes. 12. Earthquake Prediction Earthquakes are one of the most dangerous natural disasters humans encounter. One earthquake in the 16th century led to over 800,000 deaths. That's why predicting when the next one is coming is such an important area of research. Unfortunately, because of the complex processes involved, a concrete method still hasn't been developed that's consistent. However, seismologists who study earthquakes have developed models to come up with some probabilities by calculating the motion of each tectonic plate and what are called fault slips. Now, the use of artificial intelligence is looking even more promising, with one test predicting 70% of earthquakes in China. 11. Plate Boundaries Okay, I've talked about the mid-ocean ridges, subduction zones, and earthquakes, but what about the plate tectonic boundaries at the center of them all? Well, they come in three different kinds, divergent, convergent, and transform plate boundaries. Divergent plate boundaries move away from each other. Convergent boundaries clash into one another, while transform plate boundaries happen when two move past each other, creating fault lines and making earthquakes much more likely. 10. Karst Landscapes Approximately 15% of the Earth's sedimentary rocks are limestone, which is used for cement, roads, and even paint. You might be surprised to know that chalk is a kind of limestone too. And just like chalk, on some limestone rock faces, the inside can be dissolved when water trickles in. This leads to environments known as karst landscapes, like the huge sinkholes, like the sea notes of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. 
In other parts of the world, like in the stone forest of China, rocks stand up tall from the ground, shaped by the water. 9. Geodes Geodes are a kind of volcanic rock that looks pretty empty at first glance, but inside, something magical grows. Crystals. They're called geodes and are formed by the abundance of minerals located underneath volcanic ground, from fresh water or even mud. These minerals spend thousands of years growing into stunning, colorful crystals. 8. Fold Mountains You know that mind-blowing scene in Inception where the city streets fold back on one another? Well, a similar thing happens in the real world, and it all comes down to, you guessed it, tectonic plates. <laughs> Is there anything they can't do? I mean, probably, if, I, if I'm being honest. Anyway, we know that as these push up against one another, they create mountainous regions, but sometimes these actually fold back on one another. When this happens, it's actually the Earth's crust folding too. Fold mountains can be found in the Himalayas and the Alps. In the Windhauser Schafberg of Switzerland, you can see the waves of the fold that formed over millions of years. 7. Fluvial Landforms It's easy to forget the power of water. And I don't mean tsunamis, whirlpools, or torrential rain. The simple stream of a river makes permanent changes to its environment. To get a little fancy though, scientists use the Latin word for river, fluvius. Coming from high up in the mountaintops, water rapidly falls down to the headwater zone, to the transfer zone, where valleys are indented in the terrain, downwards until eventually it evacuates into the sea. 6. Estuaries The word estuary might sound unfamiliar, but how about a bay or a lagoon? These are both estuaries. All it means is a place bridging fresh water and the ocean. They form when sea levels rise, the earth sinks, or when glaciers cave in and leave space for water to flow. Estuaries are vital for a ton of different species, especially fish. On a more basic level, the passage of streams filters harmful sediments and makes water cleaner for everyone. 5. Fjords Some of the most picturesque parts of places like Canada, Norway, or Greenland are called fjords. These are where tall cliff faces tower over a relatively thin body of water called an inlet. Their origin dates back to ancient movements of ice, when glaciers create deep impressions in the land before melting and allowing water to flood back in. Fjords can be incredibly deep too. So deep, in fact, that there are cold water coral reefs hidden underneath, just like the kinds found in the tropics. Only a lot colder, as the name suggests. Maybe don't go swimming there. Unless you're, you know, have all the proper gear. 4. Permafrost Thaw Permafrost is ground that can stay frozen even when the temperatures rise again. That's because it's a mixture of rocks, sand, and other sediments stuck with pieces of ice. Often you can't see permafrost because it's hidden underneath a layer of regular soil. Despite its name, though, it's not really permanent. Climate change is thawing it like we've never seen before. As this happens, carbon dioxide from the soil is released into the air. The problem is even more immediate for some places, especially in towns located in the far north of the world, where structures are often built on top of permafrost. As it melts, it'll take down anything above. 3. Dead Zones The waters covering our planet's surface are not all livable. In dead zones, excess of things like nitrogen help to grow dangerous organisms. That reduces the amount of oxygen in the water, meaning that other organisms that usually live there can't survive. Just like us, most organisms depend on oxygen. Like a lot of the problems we face at the moment, humans are mostly to blame. Certain fertilizers and chemicals make their way into the oceans and create dead zones, mainly on coastlines. 2. Upwelling Ever had that feeling in a pool where you get a rush of cool water? Well, in nature, there's a word for that. It's called upwelling. It happens when the force of winds is working to blow ocean water away from the coast. As this water is displaced, other water has to fill its place, which comes from deep down below, and it's much colder. This effect does much more than give swimmers a rush of cold on their body. Upwelling also brings much needed nutrients higher up, helping to make the water more habitable for organisms. 1. Ancient Source of Oxygen How old is the air that we, you know, breathe? 
The answer is likely around 2.4 billion years. That's when photosynthesis kicks into gear, which turns light from the sun to energy like oxygen. This moment is known as the Great Oxidation Event, but it's not the only way that oxygen is formed. It can also emerge from deep below the Earth's surface, where something called hydrogen peroxide is created. As we learn more about the mysterious forces closer to the center of our planet, it looks like many of the elements we rely on, like oxygen and water, could have been created in the raging inferno down below, much earlier than on the surface. So, which of these earthen secrets shocked you the most? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell. That's what all the cool kids are saying these days, right? And check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links in that description. I'm, I'm a cool kid, and I'm saying it, so all the cool kids are saying it. Now, did you know that there's a horizontal waterfall in Australia that's so fast it's becoming an extreme tourist attraction? Or how about the Devil's Kettle? A mysterious watering hole where any object thrown in seems to disappear. Well, just click here to check out the 25 natural phenomenon that'll leave you speechless. Which, you probably won't be speechless, because I guarantee you'll click here and then, and then comment, which... Are you speechless if you're commenting? You're not speaking. But you are conveying words. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs>